Dan Carlson. I'm with Emerson Process Management, and today I'm going to be talking to you about wireless control. So if you have any concerns about wireless heart not being ready for control, or your investment in wireless heart not being ready for control, well, then listen to the rest of this story, because we've got some pretty fantastic news to share with you today. One of the big misconceptions with wireless heart today is that it's not ready for wireless control because there's not one second update rates and there isn't redundancy in the gateway and we primarily focus on monitoring solutions. Well, it turns out nothing could be further from the truth. The reason why customers focus on monitoring applications is because that is how they're revolutionizing their business units and the process industry as a whole. As far as wireless control, we've already proven it. In fact, we've been operating a real distillation column with the University of Texas using wireless heart instrumentation and have seen no difference in performance and response to the system between wired and wireless control. So if you give me two more minutes, I'm going to share our story, Emerson's story, on how it's never been done before. Today, what we've done is we've created a one-tenth scale distillation column. This is a pressurized vessel that is displaying pressure control and temperature control. If we span, pan down to the bottom of this vessel, we see we have an inlet valve that controls the pressure into the vessel as well as an outlet valve which controls the pressure out of the vessel. We also have at the bottom of the column a temperature element that heats the entire vessel and four temperature sensors that are monitoring the temperature using a smart wireless 848 multi-input temperature transmitter as well as a best-in-class smart wireless 3051S pressure transmitter. For those of you who don't know, this is the exact same pressure sensor as in our wired devices. There's no difference between wired and wireless besides the communications back. So we have our wireless instruments that are providing the analog input into the control which then goes to the Delta V via our new smart wireless remote links. These are fully redundant accesses capable of being deployed in class one, div one, or zone zero applications that have hot backup functionality. If one of the remote links fails, the other one takes over, there is no disruption to the network. The user notices no disturbance in the performance of the network and they receive alarm indicating that one of the remote links has failed. So all of this information comes through the remote links up to the Delta V system, and that's what we have here. We created an operator panel. We can see our 110 scale distillation column. And if we look at the graph, we can see how we're changing the set points with the blue line. We're oscillating between 10 and 8 PSI, and this green line is our pressure transmitter given the feedback of the system. As you can see, we are controlling with wireless heart using one second update rates. We can also see in the uh, column temperature, we can see the profile of the temperature. Our heating element has heated the column up to about 25 degrees and the rest of it's responding as expected. So recapping what I promised to show you in this video is that wireless heart is ready for wireless control. Customers have been proving the technology every day with monitoring applications that are transforming their business and they also know now that their investments are protected in the future because wireless heart is wireless control ready. If you have more questions, please see emersonprocess.com and visit the smart wireless section. We have a lot of information on customer testimonials and the latest and greatest in everything wireless. Thank you.